when you talk about music, of course, what comes to mind but Coke Studio. Or Coke Studio 14, which was last year, it was spectacular. It was, its impact was so colossal that it was like this volcano that just erupted and spilled over all across the world. I always say that Coke Studio is our best cultural export. There's no doubt about it. But last year, it was the biggest we've seen in, I think, a decade. It was huge. And other than the obvious big hit, Pasuri, there was Kanayari that I think had the impact of Kanayari was absolutely dynamic. Featuring folk artists Vahab Bukti and Kefi Khalil, who's huge right now, and our favorite rapper from Layari, Eva B, the video was so good and the song was so good. And, you know, it started conversations and it had covers and it had the spin-offs and we saw the quick style rendition of the song and Kanayari was huge. That video was huge as well. And today we're really lucky to be sitting with Jamal Rahman, somebody who directed and conceptualized the video. Jamal, thank you for giving us time. Thank you we for having me. We're celebrating one year of Kanayari, right? Yeah. And it's it's risen gradually on the charts, as in the top three yeah. videos from last year, top three songs from Coke Studio 14, and it's beaten Tujum. Yes. And it's at 52 million hits right now. Yes, it is. And it's, it's, but it's been huge. Other than the numbers, yeah. the impact of Kanayari and the way it's brought Balochi artists into the limelight and in such a contemporary cool way. Yeah. And you have a role to play in that. You have such a big role. I'm very fortunate to actually have a role to play in that. Um, you know, for me, it was when we were coming up with the concept and everything, it was all about taking who these people are, who these artists are, Kefi Khalil, Eva B and Wahab Bukti, and really amplifying their coolness, mm. not kind of trying to get them to fit into some other mold of what a, a would-be music superstar needs to be. You know, yeah. these are people that have an inherent cool, and that cool is rooted in our culture, which is something that I was really happy and proud to see. Right. And so in my conversations with Zulfi, we both kind of decided, uh, he initially kind of gave me his vision about how Kanayari can be uh, mm. an incredibly big song. Um, and through those conversations, I really kind of wanted that their personalities really come out. You right. know? And uh, when I first met Kefi, he's a very sort of quiet, very soft-spoken soul. But he has this kind of, it's, it's right below the surface, he has this aura of, yeah. uh, of extra cool. You know what I mean? Totally, um, totally. Yeah. So, so for me, uh, taking that and kind of utilizing... Uh, a sort of authentic lens into who these people are. Mm. I wanted to conceive a project uh, for the video around it. Right. Yeah. And you know, the thing is that w w what I found interesting was when you pick up folk artists or yeah. relatively unknown artists, at that time they weren't that known. There's this risk of becoming wannabe. There's right. a risk of becoming a wannabe cool or right. wannabe urban. Right. That's not video. Mein bilkul bhi. Bilkul. Yeah. That's exactly what I mean. So just being authentic to Absolutely. what these people stand for, where they come from, what their music is, who they are, their personalities. Bilkul. Um, and, and, you know, it, I think it really shows in the way that they were able to perform and be themselves mm. in the video. Uh, that, that has come across really powerfully. I'll give you an example. Uh, I got several phone calls uh, from people who didn't know Eva. Right. Why did you put her in the niqab? I said, well, I didn't actually. That's who she is. That's, who she That's is. her identity. Yeah. This is, uh, you know, before we even got to know of her, she had yeah. already been producing music Absolutely. in that, uh, with that identity. And that's not something we either had the right or even wanted to take away mm. from her. You know, we wanted to kind of take that and then really kind of project it and amplify yeah, it. And yeah. um, so if you see her sort of wardrobe, mm. it's very much the niqab, but it's also very much of today, you know, yeah. it's very much sort of... It's very contemporary. It's very contemporary. It's inspired by... Uh, we had a sort of color palette that I guess we can talk about later when it comes yeah. to the concept, uh, that we wanted to have her sort of pop out of, you know, mm. sort of start from a place where she sort of merges out of the shadows, mm. out of a similar plane of color, and then kind of walks through mm. all the other sort of contemporary and uh, split right, tones. Right. And so, so that's something that really we thought, you know, would help um, again, amplify her identity. Identity. Yeah. Jamal, how long does it take to make a video of this kind? Because this before, Cook Studio was always studio sessions, you know. Yeah. Ek set laga di, ek static set hota tha, usme sab khade hote the. And I guess, I'm not a technical person, but sound ke liye you had these barriers so that there wasn't any echo or anything. Right. But this was completely different. Very Kali different, dafa. yeah. And so why, who decided, uh, of course it was collaborative, everybody must have come on board for it, but why the videos? I mean, kya tha? What was the concept behind it? Well, so um, I guess credit goes to Zulfi because 
he contacted me in July of uh, 21 right. and said, you know, I'm doing Coke Studio right. and I'd love for you to do a, a video or two. And we're going to be doing a different set, different concept for every mm. single song because we want to break out of um, that sort of one recognizable one set right. situation. And that kind of obviously opened the door to limitless possibilities. So every right. song in essence uh, would be able to dictate what its visual accompaniment would be. Mm -hmm. And that obviously kind of helps to elevate the material, right? Yeah. Um, and if the video is done in a way that really kind of fits in emotionally with, with uh, ju not just the message, but mm -hmm. also the vibe mm -hmm. of the music, it just becomes that much more, uh, you know, than, than the sum of its effective. parts. Effective. Yeah, much more effective. The impact is much more, yes. absolutely. Yeah. And we're seeing a lot of videos come up these days, but we'll talk about those later. Yeah. But back to Kanayari, how long was the entire process? Because today, people make a film in two months. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a feature film, yeah. hai, and you're, you're heading to, in that direction as well, right? Yeah. So we worked on and off uh, from July till about uh, September. Yeah. Really? Um, but obviously, because well, there... It's two months. Uh, two, three months. July, August, September, October. About four, three and a half, four, three months, and a half, four months, I would months, say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that was because also um, Zulfi and team were working with several other teams. Mm. So we would kind of do rounds right, right. Uh, and come around to that. But really, um, I think if we put it all together, I would say we spent about three weeks on it. Three weeks on it. But it was yeah. quite a technical set with the walls going in and out and right. the spaces opening up. And, yeah. you know, the camera was constantly moving from room to room. Yeah. So it was coffee. Do you need so to be like I, an architect I, to kind of design this kind of thing? So or? none of this has ever happened in Pakistan before. Yeah. I have this thing where every project I do, I want to be able to challenge some norm, something and bring something new to it. Right. Um, for my concept, um, when I first heard the song, I had several conversations with Kefi, who wrote the lyrics um, uh, about what the song is about. So Kanayari mm. is about friendship, yeah, friendship and gain, betrayal. loss, yeah. betrayal. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to sort of use... Um, storytelling tactics to really break that down into a concept and the concept that I came up with was when you initially meet someone you have this facade or this sort of first person first contact of, of, mm. of your personality right um, and as you get to know that person you peel back the layers and right. you become more and more authentic right. to who you are and less you know sort of guarded mm. and I wanted to kind of have that uh, represent its, uh, be sort of representative in the set mm. so if you notice all the rooms have a different color different vibe and as the set opens up yeah. that's a metaphor for a person opening, opening up which up, is essentially yeah. what Breaking the song down is about walls and opening yeah, up yeah yeah so wanted to kind of take that and and you know build that into a set so it was very challenging because um, Hashim Ali, who designed the set itself, yeah. had to come up with a mechanism huh. for those sliding walls. Yeah. I actually initially wanted that we lift the wall walls vertically right. every right. which way. Right. But he's like, listen, we're going to need a lot of machinery for that and huh. we don't have that kind of tech in the country. Huh. Uh, so we couldn't unfortunately do that. But, um, you know, this was the next best hmm. uh, scenario. So it took a lot of planning in that regard. 